Hey guys, I'm just answering questions today. It's real chill. Um, I don't even have the lights back there on because they're timed to be turned off right now. There were so many awesome, wonderful questions and I wish I could get to all of them, but yeah, I'm limited by strength and energy and time. If I could, I would answer every single one of those questions in this video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if this is meaningful to you at all. Smash that like button if it is. I really value interacting with you guys and it's very enjoyable for me. This is why I do this kind of stuff. Question, you can only keep one kind of fish for the rest of your life. What do you pick? Um, interesting question. A lot of you are probably going to be like, oh, that's easy. Endler's live bearers. That's your favorite fish, right? Well, it's interesting because I think I would rather pick the betta fish because they have more personality than the endlers. I mean, I love endlers live bearers. Don't get me wrong, but I might get tired of them if they're the only fish. And I'll probably still get tired of bettas if that's the only fish, but there's just so many morphs, so many different personalities. Each betta is a little bit different from the other. Fishy questions. What is your favorite live bear and what advice would you give to someone just starting out in the hobby? Well, I just, you know, I just answered that first part of the question. Advice I would give would be to really do your research. Back in the day, back in my day, I had to go to the library to look up stuff, but now you literally have information at your fingertips and you don't even have to get out of your house and grab a book, whatever the heck that is. So yeah, I implore you, do your research properly online and don't just get by with what people are saying is the minimum for a species or whatever. Uh, go beyond the minimum. So there's a few questions here. Are you in school or out of school? How old are you? And what's your favorite food? Um, okay, so I am out of school. I graduated last summer, so pretty new to being more adult than a student, more full-fledged adult. I still don't, I don't feel it. It's an interesting change when before you were studying and paying money to study, and now you're using what you've learned to earn money. I think I actually do prefer having the career uh, more than being a student. But I mean, if you could just hang out in elementary school for your whole life, I think I would pick that one. How old are you? Um, I am somewhere between 16 and 42. What's your favorite food? This one is impossible to answer. I love so many types of food, but I'm a big spice guy, so I love spicy food. If there's nothing spicy in my food for that meal, I might crave it a little more next meal. But I also love cheese and cheese isn't really spicy except spicy havarti or some jalapeno slices Ooh, but yeah uh, japanese food like sushi ramen um the meat wagyu awesome hamburgers pizza fried chicken love it pasta so italian uh, seafood creamy seafood uh red sauce any sauce clear sauce no sauce but but i do really love my sauces i probably eat too much sauce i probably pour on too much sauce when i'm eating any food. I also love junk food because who doesn't? Korean food is awesome. Food from Thailand, Indonesia. Oh, don't get me started. Singapore, holy crap. India, I can't. I cannot think about this right now. Do you watch anime? If you do, what do you recommend for someone getting into anime? Oh, killing me. Yes, I don't know if you know, but your boy is a true weeb, 100% weeb. Now, I do have a strict guideline in what anime I will watch and what I won't. Specifically, the anime with too much fan service or even a little bit of fan service and inappropriate stuff, I just don't like that because I'm not watching for that stuff. I'm watching for a good story, plot, character development, and most importantly, the soundtrack and the animation. I'm a big like animation guy because I used to do animation and it, it's always intriguing to me how you can um, animate something and make it look so realistic yet it's a fantasy. It's one of the reasons why I love Naruto so much and I'm going to have to uh, going to have to recommend Naruto. I know it sounds cliche, but have you wondered why some of the fights in Naruto are so well animated and and so great to look at? It, it's so pleasant to look at. So in short, I kind of nailed it down to. Uh, still following the physics of real life, except introducing these fantasy abilities, right? To be able to move on water, but still in a realistic way when they're moving on water or walking on water that you can see that it's still, you know, following the physics of what we know. Something like that. I don't know. 
I'm going on a tangent. Don't get me started on anime. How to start a fish tank YouTube channel could be an interesting video. Yes, it could be an interesting video or an interesting channel. Now, I have a little bit of plans. You heard it here first. I am planning to start another channel talking about how to start a YouTube video from scratch. Yes, in 2020. And by that time, it might be 2021. But it's still worth it. Trust me. And I'll get into it more if I do actually start this uh, new channel. And I'm planning to start it when I hit 100k because only then can I really say I've kind of reached some success on YouTube and people might start listening to what I have to share. If I just started now, they'll be like, dude, your main channel is not even 100k yet. Why are you teaching other people how to succeed on YouTube? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, but when is the next FTR? So it's not announced or I haven't verbalized it until now. FTRs are on Mondays, dude. I mean, if you check the upload dates and you see a little pattern from the weeks, you kind of realize, yeah, every Monday I upload an FTR. I have a question. Chris, what got you into this hobby? Whoa, that's a big loaded question. Well, I've explained it from time to time and little bits and pieces here and there, but I've been really interested in animals ever since I was a little kid, ever since I was born. Always wanted to work with animals, be a biologist, uh, marine biologist. That dream, not happening, but it's okay. I'm, I'm good with what I have, which is conservation biology. And I have this hobby, so it's kind of aquatic as well, keeping me going. But yeah, that's why I love this hobby so much. It's because I get to do all these cool things um, to make natural aquascapes, planted tanks, and see the interactions of the little critters. Do you watch Studio Ghibli films? If so, what is your favorite? Yes, I do, um, but I actually do not. I know this might be an argumentative place for this topic, but I don't consider them anime. They are animations, of course, but I don't think they strictly fall under anime. Um, so I'm not their, I'm not the biggest fans. I know like Totoro and stuff like that is really popular. I've tried watching a lot of them, like How's Moving Castle and stuff. I can see how they're awesome and great and the animation is amazing, but something just doesn't really click with me with, with those movies. I mean, Spirited Away was great. I loved it. That was probably, that's probably going to be my favorite. It's kind of typical to say that, but still. What are your top five favorite anime? This is going to turn into an anime channel real soon if y'all don't stop. Maybe Saturday and Sunday weeb time. Wow, I'm already seriously considering it please stop me top five anime okay i can't do this uh just top of my head just for now okay this is recent plus my personal favorites from way back then naruto uh, including shippuden of course that's my all-time personal favorite because it's taught me so many life lessons i mean bleach yeah part of the top three and i still really like it but i don't know if i would put it in my top five okay full metal alchemist definitely um the original anime, not the uh, adaptation of the original manga. There's a big difference. Attack on Titan. It's one of my favorite. Shingeki no Kyojin. And most recently, I'm going to have to go with Haikyuu. I'm, I was debating on Haikyuu or My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia is amazing, okay? But I have to give it to Haikyuu. And Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba is just amazing. Holy crap. Unlimited Budget Works is right. Unlimited. And the soundtrack. Don't get me started. And the manga. Don't want to spoil anything, but... Okay, no, I'm, I'm just not going to say anything. Is that five? If it's not five, I'll throw in My Hero Academia. What's the story with the first fish you've ever had? What was their tank like? I really wouldn't count the first fish I ever had a story, because I think... Technically, it was like some random goldfish in China, and I didn't even make the decision. My parents just got it for me. But the first ever tropical fish that I remember is a neon tetra. And it was in my one gallon blue neon tank that I smashed in that uh, previous video about how to make the best uh, fish tank or whatever, better fish tank. Yep, that was from a decade, more than a decade ago. And the first tank I've ever owned, which had the first fish I ever owned, which was a neon, one single neon tetra. How many red flags did you spot? Because there's a, <laughs> there's a whole bunch. What is your favorite animal in general? This, again, like, uh, I remember why I don't like Q&As now. Y'all ask, like, these hard questions that are impossible to answer. Okay, but my go-to answer for this, if we're talking about all the charismatic, like, big animals, right? Um, some people say dolphins are awesome because they're smart and stuff. Um, penguins are cute. Turtles are, like, you know cute ooh, ooh. i mean i like so many of them and they're all my favorites but i i guess for a more meaningful answer i usually say cheetah like the like the african 
wild cat, the really fast one in Africa, cheetah. <laughs> you guys know what cheetahs are. And I forgot who who said this when I when I told them cheetah was my favorite animal. I can't remember, but someone said something kind of meaningful. And I, sh- I feel like I should remember who said this. Maybe one of my managers at PetSmart, I can't remember. But they said, or he said, um, that's interesting you picked cheetah. It tells me about your character. Um, you might be like, you might identify as an underdog or someone who does a lot of work, but is uh you know it's not always credited and i kind of didn't think about it that way but i'm like yeah you're right um i love that cheetah are super fast and they're super just they're super capable they can catch whatever prey they want and they work alone most of the time and i like fast things um minato in naruto is my favorite character because he's so fast with the flying raijin i wish i could teleport that's like one ability i know that's not the question but if you guys were wondering anyway cheetahs and when they get their meal sometimes they'll be chased off by a pack of hyenas or some lions like total scumbags right like leave the cheetah alone the cheetah is the one who got the meal that's not fair man the hell how many fingers am i holding up that's a trick question ben everyone knows llamas don't have fingers also do you play the guitar yes And being Asian, of course, I was forced to learn the piano as well. And I, I can play a few other instruments here and there, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not like stellar at any one of them. Do you like to eat fish dishes or you don't because you have them as pets? Hmm. Gre- greetings from Poland. Much love to Poland. Quite a few of my viewers from Poland, so love you guys. You guys do some really nice fish tanks. But um, I grew up not eating fish because I didn't like the taste. They, I didn't like that fishy taste. Maybe my parents didn't cook it too well. But um, now, I, yeah, I love eating fish, dude. Just not, you know, my pets, obviously. The real question is, how old are you because aging doesn't exist in Chinese people's genes? Well, like I said, I am anywhere between 16 to 42. Question, why did my friend's Siamese LG eater shoot his grandma? Probably because his grandma was secretly a flying fox. My parents always say this hobby is for older generations and girls. Can you please prove them wrong? Okay, well, I am not too old yet, nor am I a girl. The king of DIY is probably not a girl. I'm pretty sure he's not a girl. Um, and Cory from Aquarium Co-op is not a girl. And when you see your parents, I'm pretty sure your mom is a girl, right? And probably in the older generation. Does, is she a big fish tank person? No offense, Mrs. and Mr. Erectus. I have a question. Do you like birds? Yeah, I love birds a lot. I'm what you would call a birder. I'm like a very beginner novice birder though, so yeah. I can pretty much tell which bird species is singing when they do when they do their songs um, in my area, but I can tell from their songs and I can tell obviously if I, if I see them visually, I can see or tell what species they are. So yeah, um, wild birds, amazing. Pet birds, yes, I love pet birds. And I think there's another question coming up later about that. So I'll leave it for that. Question, Chris, will Rapashi get a buddy soon? Also pick one, Okostone or your girlfriend? I don't think Rapashi's gonna get a buddy. She has me and she already hates me. So if I get her a buddy, she might just eat him. Your second question, um, I'm in a fortunate position that I don't have to choose between the Okostone or the girlfriend because my girlfriend is an Okostone. Favorite YouTubers, oh boy. Yeah, there's just so many um, off the top of my head. First we feast, Hot Ones, Sean Evans, um, awesome. Uh, let's see, Kurzgesagt, mentioned that before. Vsauce, anything to do with Vsauce is amazing. Uh, Rocket Jump, one of my favorite online series to watch is high school, uh, video game high school. Feels like I'm missing a lot of channels right now. Oh yeah, Mark Weens, my foodie boy, my favorite guy that eats food. Mark Weens, he is amazing, go check him out. Um, also the Food Ranger is great as well, they're both super wholesome. How tall are you? I am six feet on the dot. What is your favorite prehistoric sea animal? It's got to be the Leo Pleurodon. If you've not watched Charlie and the Unicorns, you got to watch it. <laughs> I appreciate your videos and the time and effort you put into your subscribers. It has a question mark. It is a question. Hey, nice going, Mason. You made it in here. <laughs> My question is, do you see yourself buying larger tanks in the future? By the way, love your vids, Chris. Mm, yes, I, I see myself with a with a big fish room, or at least bigger fish tanks in my fish room. Going high tech for some of them, uh, keeping some low tech, but yeah. Did you see Aquarium Co-op's shout out to your channel on the live stream this week? Yes, and thank you for a few of you who uh, came over to my channel and uh, told me about it. I was excited to say the least. Aquarium Co-op, Corey is really awesome. He's super knowledgeable and just, you know, a wealth of knowledge and his YouTube channel is doing wonders for this 
hobby is store aquarium co-op i've actually been to it it is amazing um you guys should go i've never seen a better rack done like that and if you believe it or not i don't even think Corey remembers but i remember of course because this guy has this is the third time this guy has shouted me out in a ver variety of ways when are you going to do a face reveal um i have consider like at 100k like some a lot of youtubers do it at 100k i think it's a really good thing to do for your viewers and your subscribers to give back to the community yeah i might do 100k but i don't know where do you live and where were you born are you going to kill me i live in canada and i was born in china are you going to breed any fish in the future great question and yes i do have plants well you know just like a just like a bullet point in my planner i really want to create my own sub species or sub morph of the endlers live bears and sell it to people who actually want to buy it but that is after i set up quite a few more items and become regular at those sort of items first so it is a priority after all my other priorities what is sooner to come is my own brand of liquid fertilizer which is in my opinion gonna be pretty cool stay tuned who is chers uh, it, Rapashi calls me Chers by accident. She doesn't know how to spell. So yeah, I'm Chers, I guess. You mentioned keeping birds. So what species of birds have you kept in the past? Great question. And I have kept two budgies, one green, one purple. The green one was called Spring. It was a girl. And the purple one was called Purple. It was a boy. And they were so cute. And I loved feeding them apples all the time. And then I had a cockatiel. And her name was Peewee. And I, and I missed them so much. The cockatiel was like, oh. To have a cockatiel again, that would be great. But due to some some family issues and some more family issues, I, I so wish to have birds again. And I will if I ever get the opportunity to, um, but not those super big charismatic birds. I don't think I'll be able to handle them like a macaw or an African gray. I would still go for a cockatiel. That would be like my, my number one choice probably my favorite pet bird but i also love parrotlets and lovebirds sun conures are also oh just amazing they're just very loud why is your favorite dog a border collie great question my favorite dog is a border collie because they are known to be one of or if not the most smartest dog in the whole dog verse and i love a smart animal they also look super cute they look cool and majestic without overdoing it anyway um i don't want to make this too lengthy it's probably already pretty darn lengthy. I hope you enjoyed this video as well to get to know me a little bit more. If you did and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.